stocks, 26 cars to take the green flags. We'll jump right into the starting lineup for tonight's mini stock main event. Starting on the pole, car number 66. That is Chris Corral from Waterford, and his outside is 61 of Ken Lang the third from Orange, Connecticut. Row number two to the inside, the 64, Hope Valley, Rhode Island driver, Thomas Smith, and in his outside, car number eight, for Bill Leonard from Wood River Junction, Rhode Island, and the Junction John Browns and Holmes Garage entry. Row number three to the inside, car number 28, from Carolina, Rhode Island, Quaker Lane Tools and Holmes Garage, the entry for Hopper on Fortune, and his outside, car number 91, from Niantic, seeking sponsorship is Chris Williams. Row four to the inside, car number 33, the 33 for Uncle Buck, Chuck Rogers from Quaker Hill, Connecticut. And to his outside, car number 54 from Westbrook. Labriola Landscaping and Finkel Day Waste Removal providing the sponsorship for Jeff Miller in the 54. Car number 37 will start next in line in ninth for Joe Godbout from Hope Valley, Rhode Island. And round out the top 10, car number 20 for Joe Babalaco from Stratford, Connecticut. Car number 11 will start 11 from Lisbon, Connecticut. It is Ken Cassidy Jr. and to his outside. Car number 18 from Deep River. GCR Specialties and St. Pierre Builders providing a sponsorship for the 18 of Danny Field. 13 starter, car number 81 from Uncasville, Connecticut. It's Brandon Clements. And in 14, car number 6. The 6 tonight, driven by Nick Papakota from North Brantford, Connecticut in the Waltz Auto Body entry. Car 65 rolls off in the 15th starting position to 65 from Groton, that is Richard Brooks. And his outside car number 34 from Norwich, it's Ben Barganish in the Sand View Concrete car number 34 car. The 01 goes in the 17th spot as we get the one to go signal. The 01 is Nina Hell from Westbrook in the Evergreen landscaping entry. And his outside car number three for Randy Johnston from Westerly Rhode Island Auto Works providing a sponsorship. 19 starter, car number 17 for Kyle Williams. To his outside, it's the 12 for John Constantini. Car number 13 will go next for Jeff Supsavardi. That's our 21st starter. 22nd on the grid, car number 94 for Robert Jenny from Lisbon, Connecticut. 23rd, it's the 04 for Christina Cunliffe from Stratford, Connecticut. And her outside car number 83 for Christopher Lee from Norwich, Connecticut. And in the final row, car number 99, Michael Manifold, and the 19, Michael Lee. Yeah. 
with the 61 crossing the line in second Ken like the third Brooks gets third in car number 65 followed by the 18 in fourth Danny Field also Field fighting his way up through traffic Winner, car number eight Bill Leonard Matt Buckler is with him trackside well now ladies and gentlemen a winner for the first time in 2005 taking off his helmet a driver who comes from Wood River Junction Rhode Island Bill Leonard. And it was a very exciting performance as we'll talk to our winner as he catapults his way out of the race car. Still kind of strapped in, but now he's able to uh, remove himself from the car. Bill, what happened in turn two and how close did you become to uh, getting involved in that? Uh, I just thought it was, he got a little better run on uh, 66, and uh, I had a feeling something was going to happen. I just bided my time, and uh, it worked out better for me. And it looked like you were patient tonight, and that's the reason that you're in victory lane. That's right, that's right. I owe this to my team right there. They, they did it all for me. Great job, guys. I got, I got some sponsors I want to thank. 
Uh, I want to thank Performance Plus for doing an awesome paint job on the car. Mac Tools, Davies Electric, Jumpin' John Brown, Big Daddy Garrity, Larry's Auto Machine for awesome horsepower, Eddie Palmer Disposal, Finish Line Signs, and my wife Tina and my, my daughter Ashley's here. My son didn't make it out tonight, but we'll get another one for him. Well, what a way to end the night, ladies and gentlemen, with a victory from the man from Rhode Island, Bill Leonard.